Aloha, January 21st, 2023, Saturday morning. All the street cats were fed and accounted for. I brought 10 cans of Friskies, 4 cans of tuna, and a bunch of that nice fancy feast dry food. The kittens love that. The trash man didn't come until after 5 a.m. today, giving me and the cats ample time for our daily festivities. Stubby made an appearance today, as did the newcomer Skits. Skits seems to be the only cat in the colony that's not spayed or neutered. He looks like a feral teenager just getting used to my regular feeding. I didn't see old Choco or Soft Orange today. When I was done with my feeding, I took a little break before going down the street and feeding Kirk, PK, and Sad Orange. I gave Kirk and PK each a can of sardines. I emptied out the whole can and two cans total for each of them. Kirk loves sardines more than anything, but PK went straight for the optional pate I set down for both of them. I noticed my inside orangey and other male cats they really love sardines male and female cats have totally different personalities and they should be treated differently when male cats you can scratch behind their ears pat them lightly on their heads but with female cats you want to pet them very gently like you're making a vase i never tried dancing with any of the female street cats even the really friendly ones like chatty kathy or ginger most female cats are very untrusting of humans especially males understandably so the parking lot gang was all spread out today when I first went downstairs. This sometimes happens on Saturday and Sunday when people are up all night being obnoxious, making fools of themselves, but not behind closed doors either, out there in the parking lot and on the street in this ghetto neighborhood. After I fed Kirk and PK the sardines and pate, I went over to the fence where Sad Orange has been hanging out, and I left a whole bunch of pate and walked about 100 yards away because that's the only way or scared Sad Orange will go near the food despite the fence there but as soon as sad orange went near and started eating the food some homeless guy comes sauntering up kicking a soccer ball against the fence and scares little orange half to death i immediately got between him and sad orange and gave him the dirty look i could muster then i said you make me want to hate soccer he didn't say anything he just gave me a funny look so i said world cup is over bub he finally kicked a soccer ball behind the building out of sight but Sad Orange still never came back for her food. He looked like a homeless person from the mainland. He was kicking the ball around like a sport and like like it was some sort of like hobby. Like I was supposed to be impressed with his skills. I hate people when take when people take a hobby or a sport and they make it like it's their stick, even their identity. I remember a year or so ago there was another cat feeder in Hawaii talking shit about me. It caught me off guard because I never said anything bad about him. But I remember he had some like human cat face morph as his profile picture. It looked like some sci-fi version of that movie Cats, and I hate that movie Cats, by the way. But this guy doesn't even have his own colony, and, you know, he makes saving cats his whole identity, like he's some sort of hero or something, as far as making his own profile picture of some weird cat man thing. Someone as authentic as me finds this cheap, lame. I'm the first person to tell you I'm a writer first, and I just happen to feed stray cats. I'm not trying to get you to like me because, you know, I feed cats either. I tell you the truth, I'm kind of an asshole. No, seriously, I am extremely kind and I have a huge heart. Cats have been my friend, my favorite animal since I was a kid. And if I ever get to a spaceship, I'll make sure to take cats with me. I imagine that's how cats got to this planet. Humans and cats probably came from some faraway place. But, you know, the cats, they're...